A major milestone, the Ruby Anniversary of Independence and a damehood for Dr. Ruby Lake Richards for her contribution in the field of medicine. Dame Ruby Lake Richards is one of Antigua and Barbuda's outstanding medical professionals who was among the first 33 students who studied medicine at the University College of the West Indies, now the University of the West Indies. She was also the first female UWE graduate from Antigua and Barbuda and has practiced medicine for more than half a century. She's been conferred with the honor of Dame Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of the Nation, DGCN. Accepting on her behalf was her stepson, Dr. Winston Richards. This is the second major honor for the esteemed doctor, as she was conferred with an honorary Doctor of Science degree by the University of the West Indies on the 31st of July. Now, For his contribution to the field of medicine, food technology, teaching, community service and nation building, Dr. Hayden Thomas has been honored as a Knight Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of the Nation, KGCN. Sir Hayden is credited with revolutionizing food and drugs analysis and food preservation locally, regionally and internationally. Sir Hayden has also held the office of Ombudsman as well as a member of the Industrial Court and leader of the Boys Brigade and Scouts. Meanwhile, Dr. Reginald Alfred Walwyn has also been knighted for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of ophthalmology and community service. Dr. Walwyn has been conferred with the honor of Knight Commander of the Most Distinguished Order of the Nation, KCN. Sir Reginald's extraordinary contribution includes modernizing ophthalmology services, providing emergency ophthalmology services, and the introduction of lens implants following cataract removal. His other positions of national service include President of the Antigua and Barbuda Medical Association on four separate occasions and Governor General's Deputy from 1994 to 2000. Joseph Anthony John has also been knighted for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of healthcare and business. He has been conferred with the honor of Knight Commander of the Most Distinguished Order of the Nation, KCN. He is one of the few Caribbean physicians to have attended and graduated from the prestigious Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons in New York City in 1986. Sir Joseph returned to Antigua and Barbuda in 1994 on the insistence of then Prime Minister, the late Celeste Bryant Bird, to assist in realizing a vision of upgrading the healthcare system in Antigua and Barbuda. Sir Joseph spearheaded the conceptualization, design, outfitting, and building of the Celeste Bird Medical Center. Robert David Shaul has been knighted for a distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of business and community development. He is now a Knight Commander of the Most Distinguished Order of the Nation, KCN. The street lighting project and the building of the University of the West Indies Five Islands campus, the construction of the new VC Bird International Airport, the Deepwater Harbor project negotiations, and the construction of the Sir Vivian Richards Stadium and on Barbuda are areas in which he made his most seminal impact. Meanwhile, for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of education and community service, Cora Huggins has been conferred with the honor of Grand Cross of the Most Distinguished Order of Merit, GCM. In 1985, she was appointed principal of the Sweets Primary School, which was later renamed the Irene B. Williams School. She served in that capacity until her retirement from the civil service in 2006. There has also been a GCM for Violet Lewis for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of education. She is crediting a last impact on the Antigua Girls High School during her tenure as principal due largely to her firmness and leadership. A GCM as well for Elma Benjamin for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of pharmaceutical services and healthcare. She was also instrumental in crafting the Pharmacy Act of Antigua and Barbuda and served as Secretary of the Pharmacy Council for four years. Felicity Richards Amer has also been conferred with a GCM for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of health. She established the AIDS Secretariat in 1992, which is responsible for directing and managing the national HIV AIDS program. Nat Bill Ned has also been honored with a GCM for distinguished and outstanding contribution in nation building. Following the passage of Hurricane Irma in 2017, he provided these services at a significantly reduced cost to the Barbudan people and in some instances for free. Rosanette Kirby has also been made an Officer of the Most Illustrious Order of Merit, OM, for distinguished and outstanding contribution to youth and community development. She has been instrumental in procuring and publicizing scholarships, internships, and full-time employment for citizens of Antigua and Barbuda over the years. There's also been an OM for Dr. Lester Washington Emanuel for distinguished and outstanding contribution to community service. His greatest impact has been his influence on young people to serve in the ministry of the church. 
an OM as well for Oliver Joseph for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the field of business and community service. His OJ's restaurant, with a staff complement of almost 20 employees, is a beacon in his community. Michael Rose has been made an officer of the most illustrious order of princely heritage OH for distinguished and outstanding contribution in the yachting industry. He's the founder of the Royal Naval Tot Club of Antigua and Barbuda, which celebrates its 30th anniversary this year. The most precious order of princely heritage gold has been conferred on the Halcyon Steel Orchestra for distinguished and outstanding contribution to culture through the development and advancement of steel band and steel pan music. Its success over its 50-year history has impacted positively on a wide cross-section of the Antiguan society, particularly the youth in the Grays Green community. It is a moment of pride to savor for all the awardees from a grateful nation. Garfield Burford, ABS News.